Salutations, respected viewers. I'm in front of a statue of Friedrich Engels. Anybody recognize that? Rather an odd angle. So here I'm in Moscow. So a little bit about Engels, who's the Cinderella of socialism, oft overlooked collaborator of Karl Marx. Also a German, though a Gentile, born in 1820, two years um, before, sorry, after his uh, uh, close companion, Marx. So um, Engels, he came from a well-to-do industrial family. They owned factories. Engels went to university, though he dropped out. Um, he read copious tracts of Hegel. As a young intellectual in Germany, that was what one did at the time. And uh, he helped Marx on his journalism, reporting on the conditions of uh, vineyard workers in the Rhineland. And even for anti-socialists, it's, it's difficult to dispute some of what he said. When little children were working very long hours and being paid uh, a pittance, they get scarcely enough to eat and living without any access to health care or never going to school and things like that, it, it was difficult not to see this as a problem that need resolution. And clearly capitalism was not solving it, certainly not fast enough. Later, he helped manage his family's factories in Manchester, where he developed some sympathy for petty criminals. And he said that uh, thieves, they're really just uh, getting their own back on the uh, exploiting bourgeoisie. And this is, in a sense, a form of class warfare, uh, overlooking the fact that proletarians stole from each other. Um, and uh, he, he um, lived uh, with her in a romantic relationship with an Irish woman, Mary Burns, though she was Mancunian born. And they never wed. Um, and then when she died, he formed a romantic liaison with her sister. So um, he co-authored um, the Communist Manifesto. For some reason, most of the credit seems to go to uh, his uh, friend Karl Marx. And um, Engels, he was a deeply impressive figure, a polyglot, more so than Marx. He spoke eight languages um, and he wrote very extensively in English. So he's someone who deserves more credit or perhaps more blame. So his name is often mentioned in a breath um, uh, with, with Karl Marx, but he's always afterwards, despite coming first in the, uh, in the alphabet, didn't care much for nationality. As a German with a Dutch name that means English, he was perhaps um, aware that nationality um, didn't make a great deal of sense. So he lived on a few years after Marx. He edited some of his writings uh, and he passed away in the United Kingdom. So he's a world historical figure, one could say, very significant. Now all but forgotten. You know, almost no uh, youngsters learn about him these days. He did have a city not far from Moscow named in his honour, likewise in the German Democratic Republic, as in East Germany. Uh, he had a town named in his honour, not a very significant one, and it wasn't really where he was from. So there he is, a very much larger than life statue here. My goodness. I'm um, estimating about eight meters tall. So that's Fred Friedrich Engels, and he wrote, let the ruling classes quail at the communistic revolution. And it did happen uh, for a long time after, after his death, much, through much of the 20th century. And many people really thought that the world would be run according to uh, his teachings. And indeed, uh, until the 1980s, easily 20% of the world was uh, run by governments which based themselves upon uh, the writings of Engels and his chum Marx. So someone you should really swat up on if you haven't heard a great deal about him.